Hi, this is Jacob Youngblood with NCD, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with your Enterprise Gateway. First thing, we're going to cover what comes in the box. Here you can see your Enterprise Gateway. Here you'll have your two Wi-Fi antennas. You'll have a DigiMesh antenna. This is a 900 megahertz antenna. If you're using a different frequency, yours might look slightly different. If you have the LTE gateway, you'll have these two LTE antennas. If you have the light version of the gateway, you won't have those. Here you'll have the DIN rail adapter, the power supply, as well as the international adapters. And here you'll have the terminals for your gateway. On the gateway itself, you'll have these stickers. This is the MAC address of the wireless module, the DigiMesh module inside this gateway as well as the frequency that it's using. On this portion, you can see that we have uh, ETH0. By default, this will act as a client and you can connect this to an existing network to put this gateway on that network. ETH1 will act as a router, so any devices connected to this will use this gateway as a router and get, inf and get internet from it. Here's our power connectors for the terminals and our digital inputs and an extra serial port. On this side we'll have main and div are the cellular connectors. If you have a light gateway you won't have these connectors. Here you'll have the Wi-Fi 0 and 1. Those will be for your Wi-Fi module and the XB antenna connector is for your DigiMesh antenna. So to get started, I'm going to be connecting the power supply to this and the terminals. So the two position connector will go here. The three position connector will go on the serial port and the eight position will go on the digital inputs. These also connect as digital outputs. Next, I will take my power supply and connect it to the gateway. So the red goes into positive and the yellow goes into negative. Positive and negative are marked on the gateway here. And I will secure those connections using the screw terminal. There are also screws on the terminal to more securely connect those terminals to the gateway. After that, I'm going to be attaching the antennas. So I'll start with the Wi-Fi antennas. Then I will connect the XB antenna. After that, I will connect the cellular antennas. Then I will connect the power adapter that I'm going to use for the gateway itself. Before I plug in power and connect to this device over the Wi-Fi AP, first I'm going to show you the sticker on the back. So here you can find the sticker that will show you the MAC address that we'll use later to connect to the device. Um, you will use the last four characters of that MAC address. And now we'll switch over to a desktop view to connect directly to this device after I plug it in. Now we'll be connecting directly to it using the Wi-Fi AP that comes default on the gateway. So the first thing I'll do is change my Wi-Fi. You'll see this NCD Edge and the last four characters will be the last four characters of the MAC address printed on the side of the unit. The password will be lowercase NCD capital G 
for gateway. Go ahead and hit join. Now you can see that we've joined that network. I'm going to use the dot local address ncd a 9 d 5 dot local. The a 9 d 5 will be different for your gateway. This is again the last four characters printed on the side of the gateway that indicate its MAC address. So just entering in the dot local address will bring us to the web configuration page. This is where once you log in, you'll be able to configure things on the network, such as the Wi-Fi client. So you can connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. You can configure the firewall. You can also configure the cellular settings for your gateway. We will be going to the node red interface, which is just the dot local address with a colon 1880 on the end. And you can see I have a wireless gateway node here, a debug node, and my wireless gateway indicates ready. So now to start seeing sensor data, all we need to do is go over to the debug pane. I'm in a very heavy traffic sensor area, so we'll start seeing sensor data come in. These messages indicate that sensor data is being received. For instance, this is from a Type 84 standalone smart vibration sensor. Down here, we have a temperature humidity. At this point, you'll need to turn on your sensor and you should start receiving data from it. We've set up the gateway and connected to it and we now are getting sensor data. The next steps for you are to decide how you want to connect the gateway to your network and what to do with the data that comes Now in. we'll be going over the machine uptime monitoring sensor itself. So here you'll see my 900 megahertz antenna. If you're using a different frequency, your antenna may look slightly different. We have the M12 probe and this is my brake beam connector with the reflector that goes along with it. Also on the top, we will have a 2.1 millimeter barrel connector for external power. And I'm going to go ahead and open the sensor so we can look inside. Over here, we can see our battery bank. Here will be our wireless module. This is a 900 megahertz module. If you're using a different frequency, yours will look different. Over here, we have our power selector switch, which I'm going to set to the battery position. The opposite side will be the external power, and in the middle is off. Over here, we can see our configuration button and our reset button. We just saw the LED flash, and that's because it is sending sensor data. So when I press the configuration button, you'll see that light turn on. And when I press reset, it will trigger more sensor data to go out on boot. Now we're going to be moving over to node red to view sensor data. We're back in node red and I'm going to restart the sensor so we can see some sensor data. Here we can see the run message that is sent when the sensor first boots. Below that, we can see a sensor data packet. You can see the address is the address of the sensor that sent the data. And inside of this sensor underscore data will be the values that the sensor is reporting. And here we can see the fly message. And now we've run through a quick setup of how to get started with your enterprise gateway and machine uptime monitoring sensor. Feel free to provide us any feedback you may have and have a good day.